we had completed section a of the sample question paper for session 2021-22 by cbsc for term 2 home science remember if you have not watched my channel video you can go back and read it or watch it and all these sample papers which i am discussing they are all given by cbsc the marking scheme which i am giving you that is also given by cbsc and you can always go to the site of cbsc and download it here I have also explained the answers so that the topics which are given in the sample question are also prepared and you are able to revise it. All the topics I have also covered in my various videos. If you want, you can go back to my channel through the pay playlist, you can watch it. Uh, before I begin with the sample pa question paper, section B, which carries three mark questions. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, just go and click the subscribe button and don't forget it to share it with your friends. This uh, like pressing of the like button, giving your comments, sharing it, this is the sole motivation which keeps us motivated to do better and bring more videos. So, section B it carries three questions of three marks. One question has internal choice. So, the question number eight, seven, we have already done if you have, if you remember, otherwise, you can go. I uh, will give you the link here, this I button, and you can watch it uh, explain three levels of merchandising in fashion industry here you are they have asked for three levels and each level it carries one marks it means that you have to give a short explanation of about two three lines for each level so the three levels of merchandising in fashion industry are retail organization merchandising buying agency merchandising and export house merchandising if you remember i explained it to you in the video also related to this particular uh, levels in the lesson fashion design and merchandising so the first one retail organization is specialized management function within the fashion industry when you are only talking about the retail organization it basically deals with uh, the visual setup of the store what all will you keep in your stall? This basically deals with the retail concept. Then you have buying agency, which provides services for goods buying consultancy. Sometimes these retail organizations also hire these buying agencies to buy clothes and then supply to the retailers. Finally, you have the export house merchandising, which basically deals with exporting of the fabrics. These export houses, they basically need two types of merchandisers. The first is buyer merchandiser and the second is production merchandiser. The buyer merchandiser, they basically act as a link between the buyer and the manufacturer, the person who is manufacturing it and the person who is buying it. This buyer merchandiser, it will uh, first identify the needs of the buyer and according to these needs either it will hire a merchandiser or it will look out for the manufacturer who meets the needs of this buyer then it will add, act as a link iske jo samples honge he will show it to the buyer and get the orders finalized and the second is production merchandiser who act as a link between the producer and the buyer the person who is producing and the person who is buying so got the difference between the buyer merchandiser it is employed by the buyer and the production merchandiser it is basically more in dealing with the production so re the three levels are retail organization see it deals with the retail outlets buying agency see buying agency it deals it acts as a buyer uh, you can place the order and they will look out for a manufacturer Export houses, these are export houses. It can either be from the side of the buyer or it could be from the side of the manufacturers. Then you have a choice in question number 8. The choices between the question we just discussed and this one. Nilesh wants to be a visual merchandise designer. What are the four merchandising rights he should be aware of? It is four merchandising rights, so it carries two marks. What two specific skills must he possess? It has two skills, so it carries one mark. Market scheme code, now you must have understood. The four marketizing rights are that 
you have the right merchandise at the right place with the right price and the right promotion there were 6 hours can you tell me what other 2 hours are there you can make use of those hours also if you remember you can get, you can write down other 2 merchandising rights in the comment box and the 2 specific skills which you can possess is forecasting skills analytical skill communication skills you can write down any other skills also it could be interest in designing being creative etc okay so it's not necessary to write down the same ones then we come over to the ninth question why laundry is an art and a science this is a different question and you have to give any four differences between household and commercial laundry by now you must have understood ki ye, ye part jo hai, this would be of one mark and the second one it would carry two marks so why is laundry a, an art and a science both it is a science because it is based on application of scientific principles and techniques like the one i just talked about ki inko zyada dry kyu nahi karte wrinkles ho jate hain kis fabric pe hum kis tarah ka soap use karte hain we make use of acidic soap on uh, woolens and silks and we make use of base soaps on cottons so this is all scientific principles and art application in requires the mastering of certain skills to produce aesthetically pleasing results how to iron the clothes how to hang them how to present them this is all art you can write down any other okay so uh, if you have any other idea for science and art you can write that also now we come over to the differences between Household laundry and commercial laundry. If you look at these two terms, household or commercial, यहीं से समझ में आ रहा होगा. Household है तो it will be on a smaller scale and commercial है तो it will be on a larger scale. So look at this picture. Household, you have one washing machine, एक घर के कपड़े होंगे. And when it is commercial, it is it has big washing machines which can deal with about hundred kgs or more. घर के जो वॉशिंग मशीन होती हैं दे आर बेसिकली फाइव टू टेन के जी दिस इज इट ज्यादातर फाइव टू एट ही लोग यूज करते हैं बट इफ यू हैव अ बिग फैमिली यू कैन हैव टेन बट इन अ कमर्शियल लॉन्ड्री यू कैन सी इट हैज अराउंड हंड्रेड के जीज और मोर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द साइज ऑफ द लॉन्ड्री नो नीड ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स आपके अपने कपड़े हैं यू वॉश इट एंड यू ड्राई दम आउट वाइल इन अ कमर्शियल लॉन्ड्री यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर रिकॉर्ड यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड कि किसके कपड़े लिए हैं वेन यू हैव टू गिव इट बैक वॉट आर द चार्जेस हाउस और लॉन्ड्री में यू डोंट हैव एनी सेपरेट सेक्शन और द डिपार्टमेंट ऐसा तो नहीं है ना कि फर्स्ट आई गो इन द ड्राइंग डिपार्टमेंट देन आई सॉर्ट इट नो वन पर्सन कैन डू ऑल द टास्क बट इन अ कमर्शियल लॉन्ड्री यू हैव सेपरेट डिपार्टमेंट्स फॉर इंस्पेक्शन सॉर्टिंग ड्राइंग आइनिंग मार्केटिंग सेल्स और भी हो सकते हैं द इक्विपमेंट्स विच यू मेक यूज ऑफ एट होम इज ब्रशेज बकेट वॉश बेसन वॉशिंग मशीन सोप्स उसके बाद ड्राइंग रोप्स दीज आर ऑल देन बट इन अ कमर्शियल लॉन्ड्री यू हैव बिगर इक्विपमेंट यू कैव हाइड्रो एक्सट्रैक्टर्स यू कैव हैव ड्राई क्लीनिंग मशीन फ्लैट बेड आयनिंग रोलर आयनिंग कैलेंडरिंग मशीन देन यू कैन हैव ड्रायर्स ह्यूज ड्रायर्स सो यू नीड बिग इक्विपमेंट्स एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज टेंथ क्वेश्चन Rohan has just completed a course in journalism. He wants to work with the media industry. You have to discuss any six skills which are required in this field. Six skills, three marks. Each skill carries half a mark. So, what are the skills? When you write down these skills, you can just write down one sentence, just explaining it. Okay. So, the six skills are cognitive skills. You need to have a higher mental order. You need to. Uh, think and analyze then you have to be creative look out for the uh, topics which you will be covering think of new ideas breaking news aap dekhte ho na breaking news you have to be more creative presentation kaisa hai aapka that is also very important presentation skills how you are going to present it you need to have a technical knowledge and questioning ability is picture ko dekho and you will be able to remember all of this if this girl is going to ask the questions then she needs to have questioning abilities फिर वॉट एवर आंसर शी रिसीव शी हैज टू बी क्रिएटिव एंड हैज अ हायर लेवल ऑफ मेंटल थिंकिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग दी आंसर सो दैट शी कैन पुट अप अदर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड एनालाइज दैम शी नीड्स टेक्निकल नॉलेज ऑल्सो विच एंगल इज गोइंग टू लुक गुड हाउ टू मेक यूज ऑफ द स्पीकर द लाइट्स दिस इज ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट 
and the presentation how is it going to look what is going to be the background so these are all the skills which you need you can write down any other skills also so these were three markers in the next video i'll be discussing four mark questions if you have liked it do give me a thumbs up if it really really motivates me to do better then uh, if you have any feedback give it to me in the comment box but don't forget to share it with everybody who needs it and if you have not subscribed do subscribe to my channel good luck for your exams i know you can do it we are here to score full marks in on science see you in the next video till then bye bye